let's do this um, next structure, sulfur hexafluoride. So hopefully you're like, whoa, that's weird, okay? Because sulfur and fluorine, you would expect them to make just SF2, okay, from what we've learned previously. But remember we said that if you get down to the third period, those central atoms can actually expand their valence. So we're going to show the expansion of valence here. So hopefully you see that sulfur is the central atom. Okay, and the thing that we're going to do is just draw its normal uh, valence electron. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Notice I drew them a little further apart than what I normally do. So when something expands its valence, when an atom expands its valence, or a central atom expands its valence, what it actually does is it'll split up those two electrons and actually allow them to bond separately. Okay? The reason being is because it's got these d orbitals that it can um, push these electrons up to and actually allow the d orbitals to participate in bonding. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk more when we talk about molecular orbital theory. We'll talk more about um, promoting these to the d orbitals and actually showing the um, molecular orbitals. But anyways, let's draw our fluorines. So again, I don't know if I actually need to do this for you guys, but we will. So what we'll have when we do this is two of the substituents in the what we call axial positions, and then four of them in the equatorial. Okay. So equatorial like on the equator. divided by 4 would be 90, right? Because they're all on the same plane, right? Do you see that? They're all on the same plane, so it has to be 90 degrees. Well, only those four, and the, so if you can't see it. Oh, I understand. The equator, right? 
Yeah. You know what? The equator. Well, know that's like look at the Earth, right? There's this this line around the Earth that we call it the equator. So these guys. <laughs> For those of you who are listening, right, and don't know me, you're like, I know my students well enough to be able to say that. But anyway, so look at these. You see the equatorial, in this case, floorings, right? So if you look, right, 90 degrees apart from each other, okay? So these guys are on the axis, right? You see that? So we call them axial, okay? So. What is the bond angle here? From here to here. What is that? 90 as well. Okay. Why? Because there's four on that side too. Was that just a good guess, sir? <laughs> okay, so does everybody okay is everybody okay with the octahedral geometry? Okay. So again, Remember, this is octahedral both electronically, well, we'll say electronically, and molecular. And that's the best we're going. Are there any questions on this one? Again, these um, period three and belows can expand their base, so that's why it's doing it. So whenever you see something that looks a little weird, probably because it's expanding its face.